Hello YouTube, this is Beer Tour in Seoul. My name is Jonathan and today I will be looking at Yumi's Wheat Scale. So to start off, Yumi is a main character from a cartoon called Yumi's Cell, specifically Brain Cells. Uh, Yumi is one of the top cartoon, uh, what well, was a very popular cartoon on a neighbor. A neighbor is like a Google in Korea and they have their own web teams. It was quite popular and well the, basically the storyline is about her life. Like her love life, her work life, relationship life. You get to see her entire progress of life, her decisions made at work or you know every situation that she encounters in her life. The title suggests it. You meet cell, brain cell. So in between the scenes in the cartoon, you get to see Yumi's cells, and the cells are also like a person. You know, they talk to each other, they make decisions. It's quite fun to watch uh, the cells talking together and making the decisions for you. So the brain cells, brain cells, they uh, they have they, they consist of all the Yumi's honest thoughts. So honest thoughts meaning before Yumi making her real decision in real life, I mean the the brain cells reveal Yumi these honest thoughts before her true decisions. So as you can see the labels here, um, this is Yumi and this is her boyfriend. And all the label it's entirely in yellow and blue dominant, dominant colors and orange. And you can see those, this is actually top of the head of the cells. These each cells that appear in the cartoon and they have and also have pictures of food. I'm gonna tell you what these foods what they mean in a minute. This is a wheat tail, so it's you would expect uh, similar to the happy bicycles. Like a banana flavored, kind of sweet, no bitter. Alcohol is 5.2%. So let's try this now. So for the smell, like I said, it's a wheat ale, so like uh, it's similar to the Happy Bison. So I would expect that uh, to smell a banana. Yes, I smell banana. And at the same time, I do. In other words, I can say a refreshing like a scent from a flower, somewhat cloth as well. And for taste now, oh no, the color right. So you look down on the beer that you just poured in your glass and you see that white head and that time that it takes for bubble to disappear the longer it takes means higher the protein content right i like the smell um, in previous videos that i've mentioned that i i am very into the banana flavor beers like bison beer yeah and for the color uh, it's the turbidity is unclear, cloudy, not cloudy, just unclear, golden. So it's like a basic standard of how characteristic that a wheat ale should have. And for the taste now. It's light body and I can taste that the bready malt at the end taste. It's very light on the body and no bitterness at all. So why a beer manufacturer had designed uh, their entire can level one of the popular cartoons in South Korea? Well, let's go back to the levels for a second. So I, I told you about the two characters, two main, the, well, the main character is Yumi and there's a boyfriend and there are food and the cells. So why are their foods pictures are in the level design? Well, these foods are, if you get to read Yumi's cell, the cartoon, uh, these are the Yumi's uh, favorite food. Uh, it's, uh, her favorite foods are uh, spicy Korean rice cake, uh, sweet crackers, uh, hot dog with a lot of ketchups, and just anything sweet dessert that she enjoys. So the brewers, uh, they marketed uh, Yumi's favorite food and claim that these this beer is going to be a perfect match with Yumi's favorite food. It's a very interesting marketing strategy for a beer brewer company to target specific targets of customers. Well, cartoon was number one in Naver a, long, a, a few years ago. It was a number one cartoon on Naver a few years back. And the way they have made these strategies and marketed this cartoon and using Yumi's characteristics and personalities or her favorite foods to go along and match well with the beer. It's an interesting marketing strategy that's uh, naturally allowing uh, attractions from cartoon fans. So I believe 
Well, probably like, like maybe up to 99% uh, all the uh, the cartoon fans had tasted this. No doubt. What can I say more? Um, if you read the cartoon, uh, if you get a chance, I'm pretty sure uh, on online you get, you're able to read it. It gives you. It's kind of a pure mood setting, and at the same time, it has scenes where it pinches you or stimuli. Has not too aggressively uh, pinching, you, pinching your emotions, but it's pure cartoon overall. You get to see this young girl's life, young and confident girl's life, making decisions in every encounter of situations, hard decision making situations. Pure cartoon and pure beer. So, overall, for the beer um, score, or Stars that I would give to the sphere would be three and four. Three and three. I like vitamin beer. The banana flavor beer is one of my one of my favorite beers that I chase after and this beer has a rich flavor of banana. I'm sure they have used a good quality of yeasts to extract those full rich banana flavors and at the same time I didn't give too much of the score because I've tasted better Hypervisin or Bison beers than this. But overall, this is cute level, very attractive designs and interesting. And it's very unique in a way how they have used or came up with the marketing strategies to approach customers using the number one cartoon neighbor. And so yeah, so well. It was an interesting beer to review. When I get a chance, I will try all the Yumi's favorite food with the beer and see if what the manufacturers or the uh, brewers have stated true. Whether these beers actually go along with Yumi's favorite foods. Well, if you get a chance, you know what I'm gonna say. Try, purchase the beer and uh, try it for yourself and leave a uh, review of your own personal thoughts of the beer down below in the comments and please do subscribe to the channel and like the video and i will come back with a more interesting korean beers to go and this was jonathan thank you very much and have a good day cheers well cheers what Cheers, or should I say, come back in Korean? <laughs> oh, bye.